In this video, I will share with you the 10 things that most vegans are wrong about. Number 10 is the idea that fasting is bad. This could not be further from the truth. Fasting can be bad if you are not careful and you don't get enough salt, for example. But if you hydrate well and you don't have some very rare disease, then fasting is safe. Not only that, but it can help you lose a ton of weight and it can make you very healthy. Number nine is that many vegans believe that you don't need supplements as a vegan. That is complete nonsense. Some vegans actually do not need supplements, but that is because they haven't been vegans for that long and they still have the nutrients from organ meats and foods that are not vegan. So for example, if you used to eat liver twice a week and now you are a vegan, then you still have a lot of iron and B12 in your body. Over time though, the depletion of these nutrients is inevitable and you are very likely to become deficient in B12 as well as many other nutrients. That's why I as a vegan make sure to supplement with a high quality B complex that also contains vitamin B12. I supplement with zinc, I supplement with vitamin D as well as vitamin K2. I supplement with iodine and technically you don't have to take these but if you want to feel your best and live the longest then it's a necessity. Number eight is that you should eat as often as possible. There still are some people in the nutrition community that believe that you should start your day with a breakfast and end it with a dinner and snack throughout the day as many times as possible to keep your metabolism high. And that is complete BS. First of all, this does not increase your metabolism whatsoever and there is no reliable study to support that claim. And if anything, it can actually damage your metabolism because the more often you eat, the more unstable your blood sugar is. And it's super important to keep it stable for your longevity, for weight loss, for feeling good. That's why things like intermittent fasting and OMAD are so powerful. To reap the benefits, you don't necessarily have to limit your eating window, but it is a good idea to eat as little often as possible. So if it's not a problem for you, I encourage you to eat three or less meals per day. Number seven is that salt is bad. This tip is well meant, but it could be dangerous. This tip could actually kill you. There are people who physically died because of getting too little sodium. This probably will not happen to you, but it could happen if you really try to limit your salt, especially if you are active and you sweat a lot or if you drink a lot of water, then you definitely will need more salt. And if you don't get enough, Dying is not the only possible side effect. What is less dangerous but also very common is that you might have way less energy than you otherwise would have. Or you might just feel lightheaded and pass out from time to time. And if you are a vegan, more often than not, the cause is low sodium. And sodium, by the way, is not dangerous for you. Unless you either go for a wrong type of salt, like table salt, that one is toxic because of the anti-saking agents, or if you get way too much salt. But that is not something I would worry about unless you eat a ton of salami and cheese, which you don't as a vegan. Number six is that pesticides don't matter. This one is perhaps the most controversial on the list because most people still believe that pesticides are safe. Because there is this company called Monsanto and they spend a lot of money to make it seem like Roundup as well as other pesticides are safe. And I gotta say that some pesticides are pretty safe to use and have no side effects. With that said, there are many of them that are clearly carcinogens and they are approved by the governments all around the world. So be really careful, especially when it comes to foods where you also eat the skin. So when it comes to oranges, for example, pesticides are not that big of a deal, if any. When it comes to apples, you also eat the skin and that skin is filled with toxins. So if you have money for that, go for organic whenever possible. Number five is that some vegans say that fat is bad. Some will tell you that you should avoid oil, which I kind of agree with. The only oil I would consider adding to your diet is extra virgin olive oil, but some vegans go as far as limiting nuts and seeds. While these do have side effects, 
I believe that nuts and seeds are perfectly natural and perfectly healthy for you. Eating fat is not bad, but not eating fat can be very bad. Some people will be doing just fine without any fat. There is for example Dr. Esselstyn and he is pretty healthy despite the fact that he eats no fat whatsoever but that doesn't mean that this will work for you and most of us need at least a little bit of fat to be healthy specifically for our hormones to function properly that's why i personally get around 20 percent of my calories from fat but number four is even worse and that is that the vegans who do encourage you to eat fat generally tell you to eat margarine and get your fat from healthy vegetable oil or healthy seed oil while these are the worst oils to consume ever these oils are very high in polyunsaturated fatty acids specifically omega-6 omega-6 on itself is very inflammatory in higher amounts and not only that but also the omega-6 in these oils is already oxidized already rancid and it is horrible for your health it is a carcinogen, it will destroy your gut, it will make you fat. So please do not eat margarine. And again, if you do want to add some exogenous fat to your diet, extra virgin olive oil is by far the best. Coconut oil also isn't as bad as many vegans say. With that said, many people, including me, don't react very well to saturated fat and extra virgin olive oil is much better anyway. Myth number three is something that I myself used to spread as well. It is that soy is bad and I apologize for saying that in the past. Because when I look deeply into it, soy really doesn't seem to be that bad for your hormones. I still wouldn't eat tofu unless it's organic and it might not be optimal but it certainly is not that bad for your hormones. It will not destroy your testosterone and soy seems to be really good for your heart health and to get the most benefits out of it you want to eat fermented soy like miso or nado number two is that a vegan diet is best for everybody i don't know if the people who say it actually believe it or if they say it to make everybody go vegan because in my opinion it would be amazing if most people said no to me but not necessarily because of their health but because of them animals and the planet now that i'm a vegan I realize how deeply selfish I used to be when I ate meat. And it really is not a way to go if you are conscious of other beings. But it's not like everybody can thrive as a vegan. Perhaps they could if they optimize their vitamin B12 status and their iron status and all of that. But that still doesn't necessarily mean that they would live the longest being vegans. With that said, a vegan diet is super healthy for most people. I agree with that. Number one is that fruit is great for weight loss. That's true for some people and for plant-based dieters especially. But trust me when I say that when I used to be on a low-carb diet and I I had some fruits they tasted awesome and i could eat 7000 calories of them at a sitting so fruits can be good for weight loss but they can also be horrible for weight loss also because of fructose which can slow your weight loss down don't get me wrong fruits are amazing for your health but if i was obese i would stay away from them before i would get into my optimal weight thank you for watching i love you and i will see you next time subscribe